Let's find her. What? Shit, Jasmine. You ain't show us nothing but a little bit of nothing hung up in the closet. So, obviously, um, she didn't... She's not saying, why is she in these bitch house, girl? And then, what are you talking about? Let's find her. You just told us that you found all the receipts and you have the receipts. And you said that I seen her and I seen what she do. So what the fuck is you talking about? Let's find her. Let's find her. Let's find her. Upload the receipts to your community wall, Jasmine. That's what you do. While y'all are sending her over $1,500, tell her to upload them receipts onto her community wall. Because it's the lies for me. And it's the playing on y'all emotions for me. Child, playing with y'all emotions. Bitch, he's been living here. Let's find the dumb hoe. I already text Keyshawn. I already text him. Hold on. Let's find him. You know, and I'm not even, I wasn't even asking this man for... A lot of money. I said I just need five hundred and fifty. Was it five hundred fifty fifty three dollars? So majority is coming from me, and plus coming from my overdraft. Five hundred fifty three dollars. I told him. I said, "Hey, our car is gonna. My car's gonna get repoed. So, um, do you think you can at least come and pick us up, take us to the grocery store here and there? We we fucking leave whenever you leave." Child, what the hell? I found out that you know I knew he was looking for an apartment. But I found out the nigga been saving money. She said she told him my car is gonna be repoed. So can you at least come and pick us up and take us to the store and shit? Bitch. So the car ain't been repoed. You, you trying to plan ahead? You you trying to make com conversation with him? <laughs> You're trying to make conversation with a man that don't want nothing to do with you. And what it is crazy because he has completely left the situation. So, Jasmine, tell everyone the truth of what actually happened for Chris to decide that he was no longer coming back to that home. Is that a C on her necklace? <laughs> what the fuck? What? Is this a fucking C? You know what? Mm -mm. <laughs> nigga been saving up. So that just made me think. I'm like, bro, I was so dumb. I gave this nigga some money. Exactly. I was so I was you hear her? Fuck. And that's from overdraft. Like, bitch, you this stupid. Nigga probably bitch. pocket that shit. I ain't overdrafting shit. He gonna pay it all. That nigga gonna make sure he good before his own kid. Yeah. I, ooh, I hate that I love this nigga so much. Girl, she tripping. I wasted three years like who has time to waste three like i wasted three wall fucking years three years bro three years i'm texting them right now my brother just wants he wants me to get off alive he doesn't like the fact that I'm telling my business, but I wasted three years. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Like, I'm tired of shutting up. I'm tired of being quiet. I can't be quiet. This shit hurts. Yeah. I can't sit here and act normal. I can't act like I'm happy. I can't act like I'm, I can smile. I can't smile every day and just do what I got to do. Like, like, something ain't wrong with me. I, something is wrong. I'm fucked up. I am broken. My heart is broke. I hate this nigga right now. I hate him so much that I love him. That's the crazy part. I'm tired of being quiet. I've been quiet for so long. Three years, bro. Three years. It was a lie from the beginning. Nigga, you can't... You, I don't even want to say it. I'll say it to you when you call, if you call or if you decide to call. I'm going to keep you wondering, but just know that I know from the beginning. You hear me from the beginning? Yes. What? What is that? 
Go sit down, boo-boos. Go watch Elmo's. Go watch Elmo. Mommy. Yeah. <laughs> no. This person is new. But I just know that the, what he told me before we got into a relationship was a lie. This is not the same person from the beginning. Trust me. I wouldn't trust me. No. It's not. This is a new person because this person has been following me. And I hope, you know, part of me hopes that the bitch was a fucking troll and she's been talking to you, leading you on. And just so I can expose you because nigga karma's a bitch. No, that person does not know what I'm talking about. Because that person don't know this nigga been living here. This nigga been living here. And he feels like he shouldn't have to. What did I mess? What did he say? I shouldn't have to uh, answer to her because just because I live there, we, like I said, we broke up as of December. She, he feels like uh, he shouldn't have to answer to me or answer my questions. I could just block her. Nigga, you lay, you lay here, you shower here, you eat, sleep, and shit. Nigga, bills, we are adults. Of course you're going to answer to me. He don't have to answer to you because he doesn't eat there, he don't sleep there, he don't shower there or nothing. What the fuck, girl? You didn't lost your damn mind. I'm not sure what the relationship had become between y'all. But for him to feel like that he don't have to answer your call or nothing, it sounds like he had already told you he don't want to be with you. And you said, okay, well, you can still stay here. That's what it was. He didn't want to be with you. You were still offering him a place to live. But you still want to have girlfriend benefits. You got your ass blocked. Hell nah, girl. I wouldn't have came back either. Like If I didn't told you I don't want to be with you and you still saying that I can live here, but you want to get an attitude like, you still my girlfriend and I got to an answer to you, bitch. I'm not coming back either. Fuck you and fuck the rest. You're going to answer to me. Just like I would answer to you. You ask me where the fuck is your money. Nigga, I'm going to tell you. Bitch, I'm broke because I'm paying for this X, Y, and Z. Y'all want to see my breakdown? My breakdown right now was more like, I'm. it was more than how much I could I need to make. I made. It was coming out to... Five thousand, and that's what my car included. I was including my car, but okay. fuck sure. the car. I'd rather have a roof over my head before the car. And when people told her she couldn't afford that house, she said they were hating. And when people told her she should have never moved out of that apartment, and she was doing too damn much to make a man happy, she said they was fucking hating. You should have stayed in that damn apartment. Because look, he, he fucking gone. Yes, to a certain extent he was. To a certain extent he was not a damn thing. Shut up, Lana. Why would you let a man live with you and not help? He helped. I can't say he never helped with anything. So I'll be lying. He's helped to a certain extent. I was making more money than him. Right now, he's making more than me. He got his new position. Congratulations for you and your girlfriend. I hope y'all don't get her pregnant, girl. If you watching, don't get pregnant. That'll be your biggest downfall. Um, get on birth control or get a patch or whatever the fuck you got to do. Tell a nigga to pull out, put a condom on, do whatever. Ain't that but something, that, um... child? <laughs> look at the dumb whore trying to give people advice. Like, look at this dummy trying to give somebody goddamn advice, bitch. He might not tell her to terminate the baby. Oh, Jasmine. Oh, oh, Jasmine, girl. <laughs> Don't be in her business like that, sis. He might actually want a child with her. Oh, girl. 
who the fuck would want a kid with you, Jasmine? Come on now, bitch. We ain't forgot my shabby life. We ain't forgot Aiden having such a fucking diaper infection, diaper rash that he was bleeding. Bitch, you can go to hell, Jasmine. You can go to hell. I think you need to stay out of her business. Maybe she can support her own goddamn child without welfare. Huh? Girl, you need to stay out of her damn business. You got five kids, remember? Mind your fucking business. Worry about your kids. Stop, Legend. Let me go get my wine, y'all. Hold on. But I was making more money. Yeah, fuck it. Say his name. The nigga didn't want y'all to say his name. He got mad for me. You getting mad at me because people are asking questions about you, nigga. I... Oh, well, now we know why. Let me. Let me. What? How do I go? What a broke bitch, yeah. I already know, Veronica. That's, that's already a gimme. He already knows about that. I already told him what I said about that. I don't owe anybody anything. I said what I said because nigga you ain't gonna lie on my child anyways. I don't give a fuck. I don't have to be friends with no fucking baby mamas. Nigga, I was only cordial because of his kids. I just know that we ain't gonna never hear from him. Legend is never gonna hear from him because I know he's not gonna call him no more. Here, Chris, this is your last time. Look, there's your son. It's so sad. It's your last time seeing, seeing your son. <laughs> yeah, this is truly sad and just depressing. He don't give a fuck about seeing that kid. Girl, we don't either. Don't put him back on camera no more. Keep him to yourself. Dumb as hell. Yes, he was here for Christmas. Lies. He was here. Lies. He was here. He was here for Thanksgiving. Legend's birthday. He came. He said he had to work. He just they asked him to stay late. So he wasn't there. And we waited for him for hours to come home. He finally came at like 2 o'clock. 1 o'clock. No, it was like 1 something. Was I furious? I was. I was like, we could have said happy birthday to your son. That's it. Like, damn, can he at least have that? That tell y'all right there. That tell y'all right there. The relationship been over. That relationship been over. He wasn't there for Legend birthday. He wasn't there for Christmas. He wasn't there for Thanksgiving. The first red flag is when I asked for something for my birthday and he told me he was and he didn't do anything. He just act like it was a regular day. I know I do. She sounded like a fool. You're right. I do. You're right. I do. I'm stupid as fuck. I'm the dumbest bitch alive. I'm the dumbest bitch alive. I know. You don't have to tell me. I know. (laughs) 
if you if he apologized for he taking back, he's not coming back. No matter how hard I beg, you don't think I begged for him, him to like it's it's so much like I begged you. I begged you to just because he said he fell in love with me, right? I begged this nigga the whole time to just love me. I was like, can you just love me? Like, how you just fall out? It's been three years. How? You don't think I begged? I done everything I could possibly do. Him apologizing. What the fuck is that going to do? He already apologized to me. This is it. Me and Chris is never getting back together. When I told him that day that I said, if you walk out this house, you would never be able to walk back in. I said, could you handle that? He said, yes. So I should have known then. I should have known. I'm a private person. Yeah, you don't want your girlfriend to know. That's the main reason why he's avoiding me. He knows that I know now. Like, I just been. I've been dealing with so much off of this fucking platform, and then of course I come and I get hounded. He, I said, if you go to a nine to five, you don't have to get hounded every fucking day about your significant other. That's said they drag me. I send him messages, everything. But as long as they're, you know, not really dragging you, it's okay. I thought that this man loved me so much that he couldn't leave. That's what he said. I got comfortable. I got comfortable with him loving me. Um, I got comfortable. I did. I got comfortable because I thought that this nigga loved me. Like, he got comfortable, clearly. He got comfortable. He didn't care. I never judged him. I never once judged him. If I brought stuff to his attention, I brought things to his attention and said, hey, you know, this, this, and that, you know, if I felt like you, I never once right, said that. Back. I'm gonna leave you, Chris. My bad. I went and got my wine, and then I put me some clothes in the washer. Um, what did I miss? Her lying some more. People, family, everybody, leave him. Fuck that again. I, when I love, I love hard. Every person that I have lost in my life. I love them wholeheartedly. My friends, people think that I was gay. No, nigga, I have a pure fucking heart. I love everybody wholeheartedly. So you can just know that. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Don't do that. Yelling at him. It's amplified for the person that I'm with. Child. He been trying to get her attention for how long now? And she's ignoring him. Talking about his father, like Chad. Oh my gosh, we about to we we gonna have an Olivia and oh Olivia and Gerard situation. This girl about to just ignore this baby and just talk about nothing but Chris. And so I shouldn't have. It's like that's when you you let your wall down. I let it down because. Because of what? Because he cares so much. He would rub on your belly, do things that you never had done before when you was pregnant. Kiss on you and stuff. We've been arguing so much. <laughs> I can't even. I ain't even going to do you like that. How you did me in private, I'm not even going to do you. That's crazy. Um, Y'all remember her saying that? Like, 
she's literally it's it's really sad it's sad for real and the fact that philip is feeling none of this heat is something else because philip really groomed jasmine like i understand he was a child too but she was a delayed child but she was a delayed child and he knocked her up the first time when they she was 12 or 13 had a termination and just cheated on her cheated cheated had baby after baby on her is it is crazy so when she got with chris although chris wasn't shit i guess it was a difference from philip to her because we've heard her brag multiple times of how he rubbed and kissed on her stomach while she was pregnant and it was just things that she had never experienced during pregnancy, which is really sad. She had three pregnancies with Philip, and she never got to experience somebody rubbing your stomach and kissing on your belly. So Chris did these simple things, and she just completely melts and just don't know what the fuck to do. And now look at her dumb ass. She's just washed up and used and abused, and she's never really experienced life. This girl, 30 years old, and she out here crying and just broke the fuck down and going through it the same way we went through it with our first breakup in our teenage years. She's going through this at the age of 30. Because she just ain't been there and ain't done that and don't fucking know about it. She just just fucking washed up and crying her motherfucking eyes out over a bum ass ain't shit nigga. When the rest of us experienced that already. She was busy being under Philip and being used and just left in the house and under Philip and looking stupid. And Philip was literally out there living his life, sleeping with different women, going to jail, partying, making mo babies, doing all this. And Jasmine just at the house, just looking stupid, not experiencing nothing. So now that she's in her 30s, she's going to experience life and ain't shit niggas. And having to distinguish the difference between a nigga wanting pussy and a nigga actually loving you. Or a nigga just needing somewhere to live and a nigga actually wanting to get to know you. She she just ain't experienced none of it. Just don't know shit. This child, this can't be life. This child, y'all. This can't be life. This can't be life. Oh my gosh. Hell no. Put that back. Not me, I only cried in the shower and kept it on with my day. Girl, once I was grown enough to, fuck no, none of this happened. But as a child, girl, as a kid, I remember being like fucking 16, 17 years old. Like, for real. What the fuck, Jack? <laughs> it's not funny because I didn't go through what Jasmine was going through. But I remember being this heartbroken. I, I remember just being this fucking heartbroken when in my younger days, like what the fuck? And it wasn't even this heartbroken because she going through it. Like we ain't had no kids together or nothing, but you know, <laughs> the fuck? This bitch is going through it. Girl, girl. Mm -mm -mm. I, I said it a thousand times. I wouldn't wish this on nobody. I wouldn't wish this on nobody. And I really wouldn't wish this pain on like a 17 or 18, 19 year old. Like, girl, go on and get this pain out the damn way so you know what's going on. Nah, because Jasmine's over there fucking really going through it, y'all. And we don't even know nothing about it. <laughs> like, bitch, I don't know shit about being in my 30s going through this shit right now. Like, this bitch is over there really wishing that she didn't have legendary. Like, what? Sis, we told you not to have no more fucking kids. I mean, we really told you not to have no more kids. At least Olivia is just having her kids by deadbeat randoms that she has no fucking... Well, she had attraction to Zolo and she had to deal with that. 
and now she just don't it, it, she'll have no attractions to Zolo. There's no physical um attraction there. There's no attachment. She has nothing to Zolo. She don't give no fuck. And this new baby daddy, he was just a fucking random. So she's not heartbroken. She just don't even give a fuck. You? Oh, child. She over there heartbroken, crying and smiting and yelling at the baby, y'all. Talking about, I'm not going to say I wish I didn't. But you wish you didn't. And that's real sad. I mean, that is really sad. I would not wish what she's feeling on anyone. Because it makes her feel worse. The fact that she wished she didn't have that baby. Because she has that baby. So you're heartbroken and you just, you, she's fucking devastated. She's living her truth right now. And she's realizing that she shouldn't have had legendary. But he's already here. So what the fuck do you do with that? Girl, you got to swallow them fucking tears and you got to swallow them fucking emotions and you got to deal with your child, Jasmine. Because you did what you did. And we have to deal with our decisions. And if they come with fucked up consequences, sis, we just got to take them consequences and we got to keep it fucking moving. You got to learn from it. You did not get your tubes tied. You got to learn from what the fuck you did. You knew for a fact that you should not have had any more children. After the twins, bitch, that was devastating. The twins were devastating for everyone, bitch. I was stressed out and they weren't my kids. You knew you had no business even getting pregnant with Legendary and definitely having him. And I don't believe in abortions, but you fucking knew for a fact bitch, you knew. You been there and you fucking done that. You been there worse than us, bitch. I ain't had no twins. I have not gone through the depression that you have gone through, the issues. Bitch, you fucking knew. There was no reason for you to ever, ever, ever in life get pregnant again. And you did that shit and you fucking laughed like it was a joke. And even with your friends telling you, your friends in that fucking group chat, bitch, told you to abort mission. Abort mission. And how dare Chrissy, this bitch got 10 kids by nine different men. How fucking dare she tell you to abort mission, bitch, but she told you to abort mission. And they told you so rightfully. And you, you, you asked them for advice, bitch, and then you didn't listen. Mm. you got the grace of them bitches not laughing at you you should be happy you should be the fuck happy because her and Ming should be live on motherfucking zoom right now having the time of their fucking life and Olivia too because everybody fucking told you bitch you fucking tell people Olivia lying she not she didn't fucking lie bitch and I don't even fucking like her that bitch is a habitual liar but she didn't lie about your situation ain't that some shit ain't that some shit habitual hoes lie about their situation but then want to tell the truth about the next bitch shit uh -huh. sure get a toast to y'all <laughs> I feel like you sold me a dream sold me a dream like you done made promises. That's the thing. Bitch, he didn't sell you no motherfucking dream. Fuck. He didn't sell you a fucking thing, bitch. He sold you the same fucking thing that he sold us. And that was fucked up lit looks, smacking his fucking teeth, and rolling his damn eyes at you. That's a dream to you, bitch? Yeah, bitch, I'll be dreaming if my nigga ever fucking looked at me like that, bitch. It'd be a dream. I'd wake up from a fucking nightmare, bitch. I thought my motherfucking husband looked at me like I fucking made him nauseous, bitch. It was just a nightmare. No, Jasmine really living that. Really living that, bitch. Like, I said it multiple times, Jasmine, and it was never to throw nothing in your face, but it's just to know for a fact that if a man loves you, 
If a man's attracted to you, if he wants something to do with you, he's not going to let you sit online in lingerie that doesn't make you look good. He's not going to let you just sit online in some ugly ass gray oblong shaped lingerie with your boobies hanging down off the fucking table and shit, just playing dominoes with you like you a homeboy. He's going to want his woman to respect herself. She is to look respectful. You know, presentable, bitch. Bitch, you are a fucking limb of me. Bitch, you, you, bitch, you is me. I am you. What the fuck is you on here looking crazy for, bitch? Put some fucking clothes on. You better put on a fucking robe or something. Fuck wrong with you. No. He got you on there. Your titties was sagging down past the table. You was looking fucking crazy, looking a mess, then got drunk. Then you didn't came on live twice with no fucking underwear on, showing the world your body. He didn't want nothing to do with you. He didn't want nothing to do with you, bitch. Nothing to do with you at all, bitch. Ain't no motherfucking man that love his woman gonna even let that shit fly, bitch. Hell no. Hell no. What one on, bitch? Mm mm. Yeah, I'm like, is he embarrassed about that? You made promises. You made promises to Olivia. Like he, promises to out, Olivia that we about to, he was about to propose to me, and let, it was so much. That's how I knew he was gonna propose to me because she told me. Damn. That. Oh y'all, and Olivia is a friend. Because I was here. We go. <laughs> y'all remember our question like forty five minutes ago? Who's the friend that she got back? Olivia. Hmm. You, you hear how she said Olivia's name? She didn't say old girl, Olivia. Olivia, 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 bitch, you ain't got nothing else to do, huh? Olivia, Olivia, bitch, this don't look no better on you. Olivia, uh-uh, I don't fuck with fake bitches at all whatsoever, bitch. Bitch, you motherfucking scarred me once, bitch, scarred me twice, bitch. You might as well have scarred me three times, bitch, because I'm not fucking with you, period. But that says something about Olivia. Mm hmm. Two fake ass, ratchet ass bitches. Y'all better not trust these hoes. Like, I don't like secrets. And so then you end up breaking up with me instead in December. Oh, what a proposal. What a proposal. I'm not trying to take it out on him. I'm going to be real with y'all. I am easily annoyed right now, but I'm not trying to take it out on him. I could, I catch myself. But he is like banging on the fucking mirror, so he gotta stop doing that. <laughs> banging on the mirror, you know, hell no. <laughs> and right now he just broke, ripped up a Cheeto and just rubbed his hands all over me. I don't care. 